Buckle up. The review of the Elegoo Neptune 2 is... is... <sighs> Roll title. A portion of this episode is sponsored by Unbounce. Use code 3D Printing Nerd for 20% off. There you are. Welcome back. As the title implied, I'm at a loss for words, and I hope by the end of this, you can understand why. This is the Elgu Neptune 2, a bed-slinging 3D printer that gained popularity with a shockingly low price tag, 160 bucks US. That's crazy low. In fact, this puts the Neptune 2 as one of the lowest priced 3D printers of this variety. Elegoo sent review units to quite a few creators, myself included. You may have also seen the machine on other channels, such as Modbot, or Uncle Jesse, or Tom Sandlatterer, and of course, breaks and makes. But he's still a 3D maker noob in my heart. Our collective goal in showing this machine was to see if the price tag also got you some performance. I mean, if you're gonna beat the price of the Creality Ender 3, you should at very least perform as well as that machine. Specs of the machine are decent. It's 220 on the X, 220 on the Y, and 250 on the Z or Z. Comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle at the end of a Bowden drive, and it says you can go to 260C, but it's PTFE lined, so your mileage may vary if you continually print at that temperature. The bed's gonna go to 100C, it's got power loss resume, it's got filament detection, it's got a color touch screen, it takes SD cards, you get the idea. Print quality is okay. Originally, this machine was birthed during a live stream on the channel. I'm really impressed with what they've been able to do. We printed a smaller scale mini Joel top half and it came out great, right out of the box. No tuning. As Dude Perfect would say, Let's go! Let's go! And have a look at this chest pawn right here. I think it came out okay, but it's not that complex, and there aren't any serious features to challenge the machine. The underside of the top sphere does show issues with cooling. However, it is a pawn, and I like it. The Spaghetti Detective mascot provided more of a challenge, and it showed where the machine has some shortcomings. There are some layer inconsistencies, but for this I was using the Prusa Slicer default Ender 3 profile, so some fine tuning to the profile could help with those issues. The model does show a lack of proper cooling. It's right there. There is a single filament fan on the left of the machine, and I suspect it could probably benefit from a second fan. The stand came out just fine. Look at those letters. That looks fantastic. And uh, it does fit together just right. Flowalistics chainmail, legit, is beyond impressive. Uh, one, because it has such a small, small footprint on the build plate, not in that it's, its total size is small, but the pieces themselves just have super tiny little spots on the build plate. And having the plate hold on to that for dear life while it's doing all sorts of retractions and jumps to make this uh, really is a testament to how well the build plate holds on. And once it was off the bed, all parts were free. Nothing was stuck together that shouldn't be. And it just, it just wiggled. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. Look at that. I had to run a lattice cube from Maker's Muse, and that didn't work out too well. You can tell the printer tried as hard as it could, but in the end, the lack of enough cooling, I think, is what did it in. Oh, hey, that's right, a Benchy. Ready? The whole bed came off. I guess I'll have to rip it off. <laughs> I think what's most interesting about this printer, it's not the feature set. It's not the lack of cooling. I don't even think the ridiculously low price tag for the machine is the most interesting part of it. What's most interesting is that you cannot find this on the Elgu website. I did a search for Neptune 2 and I got zero results. It's as if the machine only exists because we creators are talking about it. It's not real. All kidding aside, I think for 160 bucks, you're getting a good base platform and something you can tinker with, learn from, expand, upgrade, and just have fun with. For many, a $160 is a price that doesn't necessarily require the permission from a loved one and is within the realm of buying because what the heck? Unfortunately, 
you're not gonna get one. It's never gonna happen. Amazon stocks these from Elgu, but the product is not available. And right now, there is no timeline. But if you are on Amazon in the future, and you come across this machine, and it says in stock, just buy it. Don't think about it, just do it. I think at 160 bucks, that's honestly a really easy decision. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Unbounce is the leading landing page builder platform that helps you convert more visitors into leads, sales, and customers. What is a landing page? I like to think of it as the specials menu at a large restaurant. A customer can look through a large menu to find out what they want to order, but the specials menu, it's, it's a simple summary with great options that's easy to read and order from. Just like with a business, if your homepage is a large menu dense on data and things to click, you may be turning away potential customers. An unbounced landing page gives visitors that specials menu of information and things to click, giving you a much better chance at converting that visitor to a customer. Unbounce uses their conversion intelligence to enhance your marketing intuition and AI insights to ensure the best campaign performance. Their drag and drop interface with an all you can eat buffet of templates means you can build your landing pages with no coding required. Smart traffic is an AI powered feature helping you earn up to 30% more conversions. Heck, Unbounce is the number one landing page builder platform for over 15,000 brands, including Zola and Hootsuite. Click the link below or go to unbounce.com forward slash 3D printing nerd and use code 3D printing nerd for 20% off. <sighs> Listen, uh, these are my thoughts on this. I'd love to hear yours. Leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and practice kindness aggressively. And remember, as always, High five.